Hey, good afternoon. It's Jeremiah with Affordable Mobility Solutions, home at mobility316.com. Today I'm shooting a video of a 2020 Toyota Sienna XLE. This is a side entry VMI in floor conversion. You can see the ramp is coming, the ramp's coming out. The back of the van is kneeling down. It lowers the angle of that ramp coming in there. It's got a 30 inch wide ramp. So we've got the power doors, the power trunk hatch back there as well. 30 inches wide, 800 pound weight capacity, 57 inches of headroom coming inside the van, and then 61 once you're inside the van. We've got the upgraded Q strength tie downs. A lot of our competitors are going to charge you six to eight hundred dollars to upgrade those. Upgrade to those, we throw them in at no charge to you. This has the swivel seat. This is great. You can park your wheelchair or scooter here in the back. You can transfer over to the seat, and I'll show you how it works here in a minute. Just wanted to show you the back seats nice leather seats you have the chair deploy to make your ramp force your ramp in and out if you have to get in that position you also have the uh, crank down there to manually do it it's right in the floor there so super simple to do you can enter on either side so come in your scooter transfer over to the uh the seat here you get set down it's got a six-way transfer seat so we're going to hit left the left button you're going to turn me to the left here i will face the driver's seat and then we're going to hit the front which means pushing me to the front towards the steering wheel We've got our hand controls if you need them. The easy to use knob here to do all your steering. A lot of great features features on this van. Only 12,527 miles. So now you become 100% independent. You're not uh, calling family members or friends for rides. Uh, if you wanna go somewhere, you wake up in the morning, you wanna go to the beach, you wanna go on a walk, you're no longer waiting on anybody. You go when you wanna go, when you leave, when you want to leave. Headliner's in great shape. It's even got the moon roof. I'm gonna show you that working here in just a minute. You can operate the conversion inside the van i'm going to shut everything down here you can also operate all the power power doors there as well it's got your heated seats a lot more great features on this van as well so when you're secured come back out i'm going to shut it all here from the from the key fob just hold them uh like on dodge and chrysler you hit it twice on toyota's you just hold the button I only hit it once but i'm holding it for about two seconds everything goes back together here Everything shuts down and you are ready for your next adventure. Got the trunk hatch as well. Tinted windows, it's got the roof rack, it's got the alloy wheels. This vehicle only has 12,000 miles on it. These tires are like brand new condition. They're very, very nice. There we go, focus for me. Quick walk around to the van. This van is in immaculate condition. Hard to find a dent or a scratch on it. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you it's perfect, but it's, it's not far from it. I'm, I'm trying hard to find any blemishes on this van. You hear me talk all the time how we can save you five to $10,000 on your next wheelchair accessible van. How we do that, it's simple, it's low overhead. We have one central location right here in the middle of the country, Wichita, Kansas. That does two things for us. It allows us to do free shipping, right in the, since we're right in the middle of the country, we do free shipping anywhere in the lower 48 states. I want you to imagine all the overhead I would have if I had to open up five stores, 10 stores, 50 stores, 100 stores, like some of those big uh, box stores have. Imagine all the overhead they have every month. Literally, millions of dollars more a month in overhead, not a year, a month in overhead that we don't have. That's how we beat their prices by five to $10,000 a van. It's simple math. And no matter who you do business with, make sure you get online and uh, make sure you get a video of the VIN number. And why I say that? Um, on Facebook Marketplace, for example, which is the dirtiest place in the world to buy a vehicle, I'm not joking. What they're gonna do is take pictures of my van, they're gonna cut out my sign up there, they're gonna put this van online for $20,000 with a $2,000 deposit to hold it. They're trying to find some sucker to send them a $2,000 deposit for a van they don't even have. And I, I know it's annoying. Facebook won't do anything about it to stop it. I can't stop it. So what you say to anybody you're gonna buy from, I want a video of the VIN number on the side of the van like this. My name is Jeremiah Coleman. I own Affordable Mobility Solutions and I have this van right here in my possession. They couldn't make that video for you because they don't own the van. They're gonna tell you a million stories why they can't and try to pressure you to put that deposit down. Don't get scammed, get you that video. Also, what well, we do run a, a Carfax on every single one of our vehicles before we buy it. You should too. Two owners. They show two owners. Now, when they go to VMI to be converted, they consider that an owner. So this actually only had one owner. Last owned in nice, salt, rust-free Texas. Carfax shows no salvage, junk, rebuilt, fire, flood, hail, or lemon brands on the title. And they show no total loss. So this is not one of the... Uh, Salvage titles or rebuilt titles that are super risky. Um, Carfax shows no airbag deployment, odometer is accurate. It does show some damage reported. That is 100% inaccurate. We are working with Carfax now to resolve this. I won't bore you too much with this, but on the sale date, it showed the vehicle had structural alteration. Obviously, these vehicles have to be altered structurally 
to do the lowered floor and everything. So it was altered structurally. I bought this on the 15th of October. If we go back to our Carfax, it does show that the uh, structural, dam structural damage is closed by seller on October 15th of this year. One, inaccurate. The auction reported structural alteration. I don't know how, where Carfax got structural damage. Two totally different things, but you can see again, the vehicle's never been in an accident. Let me find that. Two owners. It does show the structural quote damage. That's not true. Um, no, never been in an accident. There we go. No accidents or damage on this vehicle. So we're working with Carfax. Carfax does make some mistakes sometimes. We will get this resolved, but I want to let you know this vehicle's never been in an accident. There's no structural damage whatsoever. It was an alteration, a miscommunication between the auction and Carfax. So we are working on that. And no matter who you do business, oh, and also this vehicle meets the uh, specs to be under the warranty. Going to the service, 916 of 2020. Meets the specs to be under the full powertrain warranty from Toyota until September 16th, 2025, or 60,000 miles, whichever comes first. And no matter who you do business with, find them online, check out their ratings and reviews. Look at us on eBay, 1,613 transactions. Every single one of those transactions left us positive feedback. That's why we have 100%. That's a pretty darn good reputation we have worked very hard for. It. And no matter who you do business with, find them on Google and make sure they are a real company. Uh, make sure they have a handful of reviews, not not three or four reviews. Scammers can make these fake pages before Google catches on to them. Get three or four reviews. Don't fall for that. We have 327 reviews, 4.8 out of 5 stars. I hear horror stories all the time about customers telling me how they bought from the general public. Or one of these low-end dealers with one and two and three star reviews. They end up with a vehicle they can't get a title for. Uh, one with a salvage title they weren't told about. One with flood damage. You know, one with major mechanical issues, engine, transmission, electrical, you name it. I've heard it all. So, hey, if you want the one and two and three star experience, you go ahead and deal with the general public and the low end dealers. If you want five star vans with five star service and the best deals in the country, I look forward to working with you. Okay, back to the van. It does have the one key fob. If you want us to get additional keys made on your dime, we would be happy to do so. As we enter the van, we've got the power seats in here, we've got the leather. Excellent condition, works great. I'm a non-smoker. I can smell smoke from a mile away. No signs of any smoke or unusual odors in this fan. To show you the back layout here, I know you've already seen it. Just kind of how it looks from the driver's side. Get your rear air controls up there as well. What I like about this van, it's got the push button start. So if the key is in your pocket or your purse, all you have to do is get inside the van, put your foot on the brake, push that button right there. Van will fire right up. You can see it's got all the dummy lights working. They all go out. There's no check engine lights on, no airbag. 12,527 original miles. So darn near like a brand new van. Got our steering wheel controls so you can keep your eyes on the road. And it's got the, uh, foot, uh, the uh, hand controls here. Forward is the brake. Okay. And if you want to uh, use the accelerator, I got it turned off right now. Okay. So see, let you turn it on. Get the button here. This, chrome button three times one two three all right see it turns a solid blue now see it's got the, got the accelerator working so if you're if you're driving this your family members are driving it and they don't need hand controls you can simply turn it off one two three see it goes the blue light goes off now it's just a dead switch simple to do great safety feature to have plenty of room down here though if you have an ambulatory driver driving for you Get the hank the foot pedal there to the left of the brake not a big deal it can operate easily within here which takes a little adjusting but an ambulatory person or someone in a wheelchair, wheelchair can drive this no problem we have our navigation we have our backup control we got our dual climate control our rear air and i'm going to show you our sunroof here and what i always look for on a sunroof that's a little any signs of any leaks around the roof this is a toyota they don't leak but i uh regardless works great no signs of any leaks and I've got three mechanics that work for me. We tested all the power mirrors, windows, and locks. I'm going to show you the mirrors and windows working right now. We tested the heat, air, cruise, belts, hoses, suspension, steering, brakes. I've taken these on a road test. Check the tires. My point is we do not just run these through the car wash and throw them on a the lot like so many sellers do. They go through a very thorough inspection before they hit my lot. They've even got the privacy blinds back there as well. So let me pop the hood here so we can listen to it run. Underneath the hood, we have a 3.5 V6 engine. It idles smoothly. No signs of any damage, no signs of any leaks. And it sounds like a well taken care of Toyota. Exactly what we're looking for. Underneath the van, much of the same, very clean. No signs of any bent metal from an accident. No signs of any oil or fluid leaks. No signs of any rust you know, from being up north. 
and no signs of any water damage from ever being in a flood. And that's the number one mistake people make when they buy used vehicles, they assume things. They assume just because of 2020 with low miles, they assume it runs and drives good. They assume it's never been in a bad accident you know, or a flood, and that's the most dangerous thing you can do. Folks, you know how many vehicles I see at auction every week that are brand new vehicles that have flood damage? You know, these dealerships will take on a flood with their brand new vehicles, They'll take them to auction. They're going to dump them off and make them someone else's problem. In the meantime, you may never know about it. So my point is, if a, if a brand new vehicle can have those kind of issues, you better know what you're buying if you're going to buy a used vehicle. So I want you. Want, I want to ask you. Now, uh, when you go, when you go check out my competition, they show you uh, their reputation online, thousands of reviews, so you know you're dealing with someone honest, reputable, and fair. Do they show you a free Carfax report, so you know you're buying a vehicle that's got a clean title, no major accidents or damage, never been in a flood. They get out on their hands and knees and even bother taking a couple pictures, much less a detailed video of the undercarriage. You can see that brand new tire stickers on there, by the way. But bother taking a detailed pictures and video of the undercarriage so you can see no signs of bent metal from an accident, no signs of any water damage from being in a flood. How about the rooftop? You know how many vehicles I see at auction every week where the roof is just was caved in from hitting the garage door or something like that, or hail damage just trashed on the roof. You know how much the roofs can cost to repair? 10 or $15,000 pretty dang quick but the sellers they never fix the roof because no one looks at the roof you know who looks at the roof jeremiah with affordable mobility that's who looks at the roof and you better too because they are not cheap so when it comes to price when it comes to reputation when it comes to how thorough they are and showing you the exact vehicle you're getting please compare me to the competition tell me what ends up happening if you end up buying a van that you can't get a title for or has been bin number problems or it won't pass inspection in your state because the frame is damaged from a flood or an accident in all those cases and, and in many more if you can't register the vehicle you can't drive it congratulations you just bought a four thousand pound paperweight so to avoid these problems and so many more do four things before you buy from anybody number one demand a detailed video like this not some lazy 30 second walk around folks you're not buying a pair of possum pans off of ebay this is a major purchase demand a detailed video second demand a carfax report yes carfax cost me thousands of dollars a month but they are by far the most thorough VIN inspection there is. I demand a Carfax. You should too. Do not settle for some cheap knockoff. Get you a Carfax. Third, get online. Find out who you're buying from. Check out their reputation and reviews. Make sure they are not a scammer. Make sure they have a long list of reputation and reviews. Lazy buyers get scammed. Don't you be a lazy buyer. Put in your due diligence. Find out who's on the other end of that computer or that phone. And then finally, demand a warranty. As I mentioned, our van comes with the... Uh, powertrain warranty from Toyota still uh, roof looks good like I said it would uh, do not risk buying as is demand that warranty so let's get her out for a test drive so you can hear it run okay the final portion of the video I always like to get the vans out on the highway give them some gas so you can hear the engine run feel the transmission shift through all the gears and you know whether you take advantage of our free shipping in the lower 48 states or if you come in to drive this Toyota home with better due diligence we make sure that it's roadworthy Pop it up to 70 miles an hour. Good acceleration. Runs and drives darn like a brand new van. Very nice down the highway. I've got the cruise control set. Cruise works good. Got the adaptive cruise control, which is a great safety feature to keep me a safe following distance from the vehicle in front of me. Preve prevents you know, rear ending accidents. It's also got the blind spot monitor over here. So you can see the yellow will light up when someone's in my blind spot. Another great safety feature. So loaded, loaded with safety features on this Sienna. I do keep in mind, this van meets the specs being the full powertrain from warranty from Toyota. But we do have long-term extended warranties that are good nationwide. They cover not only the uh, vehicle, but also the conversion. Talk to me about how you can affordably protect your investment long-term. Also keep in mind, we don't have any hidden fees. A lot of these dealers, they show a real nice price online, but they have hidden in the fine print of $500 administrative fee. They've got a document fee. They've got tag fees. They've got freight. You name it, they got a fee for it. You know what they don't have? Free shipping. So by the time you add up the cost of all their hidden fees and the cost of shipping, that real nice price you saw online, just jumped to three or four thousand dollars. Not such a nice price anymore, is it? So be sure to ask about shipping and fees before you buy or sit back, relax. Let me take care of all that for you at no additional charge to you. My question to you, if someone's not telling you the real price of a vehicle, if they have a bunch of hidden fees on the back end to try and make more money out of you, what else are they hiding from you? Is it a salvage title? Is it flood damage? Is it major mechanical issues? You know, I can't speak for them, but one thing I can speak for, and if you hear, if you listen to anything I say in this entire video, listen to this, one thing I can speak for that in any business, but none more important than the used car business. 
transparency is key. That's exactly why I'm out here making this video today to be 100% transparent with you. Keep that in mind when you're out shopping. And if you'd like to give us a call or a text message, now text is the easiest way to get hold of us. That way anyone in our store can get your text, respond as soon as possible, but call or text 316-262-VANS. That's 316-262-8267. My name is Jeremiah. I am the owner. That is a direct line to reach out to call or text me. I challenge you to ask the competition if they are dedicated enough to customer service to give you a direct line to call or text the owner of the company. Or do you get to call in and talk to an automated system and end up in somebody's voicemail and never get a call back? Or maybe you do get that live person is that super aggressive, pushy used car salesman who's going to call you five times a day to try and pressure you into making a deal. So if you're like me, sick of being treated like just a number by all these companies out there, and you definitely want to avoid that annoying, pushy used car salesman, give us a call, give us a text. We'll walk you through start to finish. And I promise you, I'm gonna sell this Toyota whether you buy it or not absolutely zero pressure sales here but yes we do have financing available uh, we currently have 90 days no payments you heard me correctly 90 days no payments we send an application to your phone or email address and if computers aren't your thing get in touch with us we're happy to give you a call and take an application over the phone yes we do take trade-ins even from across the country whether standard or mobility vehicle get in touch with us i can explain how that works and if you'd like to come in to see our entire inventory we do welcome that but we do require that you make an appointment. And you say, why do I have to make an appointment, Jeremiah? Good question. I can put three or four of those used car salesmen I was just talking about, this the aggressive, pushy, commission-based salesman on my lot uh, to keep make, make room and make time for anybody that just walks in. Of course, I'm gonna have to raise my prices if I do that. And these guys aren't gonna, these guys or, or gals aren't gonna know anything about wheelchair accessible vehicles. They're strictly just gonna try to sell you a van to get their commission. I don't do business like that. So what you're gonna do, you're going to spend 30 to 60 seconds of your life. You're going to call or text us and make an appointment. We're going to get organized, find out which kind of vans, what vans you want to look at, get them pulled for you. We're going to save you and us time, which only saves you and us money in the end. And that's what we're all about, getting the best deal for the best price. And if you made it to the end of our video, thank you for hanging in there. I know it's a long video, but also this is a major purchase. That's why I'm trying to be as thorough as I possibly can. And if you'd like to see our entire inventory with detailed videos just like this, free shipping, free car fax. By the way, I have the lane, lane departure one. If I, start, if I start to drift over here past my lane, it's gonna push me to the middle and beep at me. Another oft, awesome safety feature on this fan. But like I was saying, check us out at mobility316.com, home of affordable mobility solutions, where mobility is affordable. Give us that call or text today, and we really appreciate you checking us out and giving us a chance to earn your business. Check us out, mobility316.com, and I hope you have a wonderful day.